Um, welcome everybody. This is the uh, 31st of May Qbert community meeting, last day of May. Um, welcome wherever you are coming from. Um, once again, if you could please write down uh, who you are in the attendees list. Um, and if we have anyone who is new to the meeting or hasn't introduced themselves in a previous meeting, um, if you'd like to, we'll take this opportunity for you to speak up and introduce yourself and, and say whatever you would like to say about yourself. I'll take that as a no. All righty. Let us progress. So we'll do a quick schedule check in here. Um, the big thing to note, I think, not necessarily this week, but next week we have the um, feature freeze for version one, and that's going to be next Tuesday, the 6th of June, um, which is readable by both European and US style calendar. Um, we'll go back to here. Um, and I think that's that's really the only thing we need to look at on the release schedule. Now let's progress. Um, if anyone does have anything to add to the agenda or the open floor or any pull requests, bugs, or anything from the mailing list that they'd like to, us to look at, um, please add it here if it's not already been added. Um, it looks like we have a very small agenda today. Um, so this one is from me. Um, it's something I've been repeating for a couple of weeks now. Currently, the KubeCon China and North American uh, CFPs are both open. This link goes to our community events wiki, which I try and keep up to date. Just let this load. Um, both of those CSPs, CFPs sorry, are due on the 18th of June. Um, but the uh, KubeCon China will be September, late September and KubeCon North America will be early November. Um, all the details are in the links here. Um, and as per usual, there is a list of links here in the um, Linux Foundation Cloud Native or DevOps days. So if you ever find yourself with 20 minutes to spare and you're thinking about um, what might be out there in your local community, there is a, usually an absolute ton of regional like Kubernetes container days and stuff like that. Um, go through there. And if something piques your interest, let me know and um, I'll add it to this. And if you need any help with um, putting together a CFP, if you've got any questions about what, um, how Qbert might be re represented or anything like that, uh, feel free to hit me up. Um, but you will please expect a slight delay until for, for a couple of weeks until I'm back properly um, uh, deeper into June. Since it looks like we don't have any agenda or open floor issues, I'm going to jump ahead to the pull requests. Um, but if anything springs to mind, um, please go ahead, look at them, and we'll come back to them just in case someone adds anything at the end of the meeting. Okay, number one. Okay. So this one is from Howard. Is Howard on the call today? Yes. Hi, Andrew. Thanks awesome. for putting this PR here. Uh, can you he hear me? I sure can. How you going? Uh, good. How are you? I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good. I'm on vacation, <laughs> so I'm great. Uh -huh. Yes. Um, I haven't get, uh, got any feedback on this PR. And I have submitted lots of PR, but a uh, few of them get feedback. So I think maintainer may be busy on the release 1.0. Quite possibly. Is there anyone on this call um, who um, might be able to help with this? This is in their wheelhouse and is interested in um, reviewing it. Yeah, I'll have a look, Jed. 
Awesome. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Next one, adding custom cubelet. Okay. It's another one that hasn't had um, much luck. This is from a bit over a week ago. Um, it's for a hot plug disk. Is this likely to be a SIG storage area of interest? Yes. Awesome. Was that the sound of Alexander Wales by any chance? Correct. Wonderful. Uh, does that mean you'd be interested in uh, how taking a look at this? Yeah, I'll, I'll take a look at it. Thank you. Um, and the third one. Control of VMI. Nick hot plug. Yeah, so this one is mine. Um, it is uh, inspired by one of Slubo's PLs. And we've talked about this morning about uh, extracting a controller logic into their own packages. So maybe this PL will be changed a bit or obsolete by Lubo's PL. We'll have to see. Thank you for uh, raising it. Wonderful. Thank you for raising it. Um, all right. Well, we'll put that on the back burner then. And um, if it does go ahead, um, we'll probably ping Lugo, Lugo and have him review it then. Wonderful. Um, so I had a quick look at the mailing list. It doesn't look like there's anything that hasn't had uh, responses or been looked at. Um, um, please throw something up there if I am mistaken. And we'll move on to the bug scrub. Um, so some of these, uh, I half watched the recording from last week and it didn't look like we did a big bug scrub. So these all are from the last two weeks rather than just the last week. Okay, so this um, did have a response from, I think uh, it was Aliche, um, but their comment, I thought answered that question. Um, and no one's been able to jump on it. Is anyone on the call able to or interested in um, getting a bit deeper into this? I'm able to mount the root FS on an Ubuntu um, virtual machine. Maybe this sort of interest. After installation, I deleted the VM and recreated a VM with YAML as a description to use the PVC that has the Ubuntu after installation. Does this speak to anyone on the call? I might um, ping that over to Aliche then. This one is, is anyone from the metrics um, team on the call? Because I suspect this one is about, there's a particular metric that they can't, they can get from Linux VMs, but not the Windows VMs. Is anyone able to shed some light on this particular bug? You know, takers. All right, I might ping that over to Joao. Um, maybe they forgot to install the guest agent on Windows. That's the only thing I can think of, but. Okay. Um,
Okay. All right. Thank you for that. Have a look. Like we're skipping some functional tests. Um, I, I wanted to have a look at this, but um, I need to do some other stuff first. Okay. In which case, I will leave it in your capable hands for the not too distant future. Again, let's do it. And uh, once again, you let me know if it gets too loud outside. Sounds like there's a school class going past. Nothing else, this is a well-detailed bug. Um, does this speak to anyone on the call? Moving in spread. You know anything in particular about that VM spec that might jump out to anyone? Looks like it's, is anyone from the um, compute SIG present that might be able to take this one on? If not, I will find a helpful candidate. And the last one, oh, second last one. All right. Last one from the triage. Bird handler and bird launcher pods are consuming an abnormally large amount of memory. Pods, memory limiting doing nothing. Holy moly. There is a lot of information here to go through. Uh, this looks like another well detailed bug. Um, is anyone on the call from the compute? Uh, Sig so able to, uh, wow, just keeps going. Able to jump onto this? Or well, Howard, is this something that you work with? Sorry. This issue? Yeah. Is this something you are able to shed any light on? Oh, for the long report. Hmm. Yeah, I think there is a PR used to fix this issue. Uh, let me take a look.
I have sent the PI into the meeting chart. But I'm not sure uh, if this issue can be fixed by this PR. But it's oh. due related to the memory usage. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Um... All right. Thanks for that. I might, um, since I'm pinging someone from the SIG compute, I might um, give them this and also add your PR and see if that is uh, a useful follow-up. Thank you. Okay. And now I've got one of your bugs. Yeah. Uh... This is my issue uh, about the release ARM64 image and binary. Uh, and I haven't get many feedback from maintainers. So I'm not sure if my working direction is right or maybe I need to do anything else. So, so. Anyone have any suggestion on, on this issue? Feel free to make comments or tell me. You also have an email thread about this as well, right? Or am I thinking of something else? Uh, no, I, I haven't sent the email. I just ping some maintainers. Oh, OK, OK. Right. Well, is anyone on the call um, able to offer any input onto the um, what's required for the ARM64 um, release? Yeah. And then you, yeah, yeah, as you can see in these comments. Uh, I have submitted many PR uh, on this issue, uh, and uh, and uh, I'm not. Sh uh, many of them haven't got any comments. Okay. Yeah. One thing I can do is um, I could poke the maintainers who have already been um, added here and ask them to provide their um, their input. Thanks very much. You are welcome. Very much looking forward to having that out the door. That brings us to the end of the bug scrub, and I don't see anyone having added anything to the agenda or open floor, so. Um, does anyone have anything last minute they'd like to sneak in before we close up today? Uh, I have write down a uh, draft proposal for Kubicon China, and uh, it's currently in the internal review um, in, in my company. So after that, uh, I will, because this is a pre presentation is in Chinese, I will translate it into English and send you. And can you help me to take a look? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, okay. Just to let you know, yeah, I'm on, I'm on vacation um, most of next week as well. I'll be back Wednesday. Otherwise, okay, Wednesday. I'll be able to help you um, from the 12th of June onwards. Okay, cool. Thanks very much. You are welcome. I look forward to it.
And unless uh, anyone else has anything that I would like to add, um, and uh, I'd like to jump I, in at the last uh, minute. Oh. Hi, uh, so I have two questions. One is for uh, networking part of Kubert. So I'm working on a design proposal uh, in the PR uh, 218. So it is uh, supporting the host user interface for the Kubert VMs. So since I, I see Edward is also present here, so uh, I would like to check uh, what are the plans for Kubert for uh, having the interface uh, addition. So in the PR comments, I got, uh, I mean, I, I got a few comments saying that we need to have, uh, I mean, uh, Kubert is planning to decouple the interface, uh, adding addition method from a Kubert code. So I just want to check the uh, plan for that so that I can, uh, uh, make a plan for my uh, proposal. Hi. Um, yes, yeah, so I think I answered in the email that uh, my at least my plan is to have uh, something written, uh, like a small kickoff about what are our options or mm -hmm. and how what needs to be done or summarize everything that I learned until now. And I hope to have it in mid next week, and uh, and then. But until then, or even after, uh, you can propose yourself stuff. Or I mean, it's it's still we don't have anything in uh, that we can uh, say that we can start working on at this moment. So so I hope that we'll have something written in the middle of next week. So we can start uh, discussing it and showing all the scenarios because your scenario is one of of many now. So, and we mm -hmm. hope to to ma to manage to cover them all in in the planning. And I will hope that uh, you and uh, others will be able to feedback based on the work that you have now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. And uh, I also have a, a quick question about Kubert CI repo. So uh, for this, for the same interface, if if the proposal, I mean, if the changes we plan to make are, uh, uh, I mean, are checked in, then we need to have the Kubert CI to support DBDK. So if you, if I make a change to Kubert CI repo to have the DBDK support uh, for the uh, concurrent release, so suppose I have made changes for 1.27 Kubernetes provider. Uh, Suppose uh, in the next quarters we'll be we'll be getting uh, feature Kubernetes pro uh, versions and we'll be uh, creating new providers. So will the change will be handled by Kubert itself or will it be coming back to me to make the changes uh, for every uh, provider? I'm guessing it will. It, it, I so it's I don't have it's hard to to know how it will roll out, but usually if if we are um, I mean, the solution that is we are looking for is uh, something that anyone can add anything in, if it's DPDK or if it's even the existing bindings that we support now. So let's say we are using now the bridge binding. So I would like to see the, the solution covers the bridge binding and I would like to see the solution also cover the DPDK one. Now, if, if the project uh, now, now it's uh, dependent. Do we want or do we need to test the DPDK scenario in is part of uh, the covert uh, CI? I'm not sure. It's like you, you. It's either you you will have tested it on your side, or it will be tested as part of covert if if the demand will exist. Like if it um, people will want it as part of the and they will want to cover these tests. But consider that, that if the, if the plugin is written in a way that the project itself does not depend on you, you using DPDK or something else, it's not uh, mandatory to test it. Do, is it, does it make sense? Uh, uh, sorry, sorry, Edward, can you repeat that again? I didn't get your point. So, if we'll have a decoupling between the in covert core project and mm -hmm. the providing uh, networking binding or networking anything, then if the separation is really good, then 
then COVID, the COVID core project will not need to add it to its CI. This is what I'm trying to say. It's oh, e, it may e. be part of some other project that, like the project that creates the the support for DPDK. Like right? let let it be CNI device plugins or any other part, any other code that is external to that is external. That project can can run the CI for the this, but you could use the covert CI for it. The, it just means that you need to take to have a lane there. To create your own main that that can test it. Okay. I, okay. I, I, I hope it's like it's clear. I, I'm trying to say it's like the ownership of, of for example, a DPDK solution will be on the on the team that works on that DPDK thing. So it will be hopefully it will be a different repo, and that repo repo can use covert CI or it can use whatever it he finds better. For example, in uh, in uh, in SROV, in, in SROV case, we use Kind to test this because it's not possible to test it with a regular virtual machine. Uh, so it's a different lane, but it lives also under covert CI. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, thank. Uh, thanks, Edward. That's fine. Uh, oh. Sorry, did you have uh, another question? Uh, no, sorry. Uh, no worries. All right, last one. Um, well, I should ask because twice now, uh, someone's had something to add. Uh, does anyone else have anything they'd like to add or ask or comment on? All right then, meeting adjourned. Thank you very much for everyone coming today and we'll see you next week. Have a lovely end of the week and have a lovely weekend. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. See you.